make it a beautiful day and a great day to get out and vote and, and just urge everybody to do so and tonight will be a great victory. So you're already looking forward to being victorious? I sure am. I'm counting on the people of Alabama. Is there anything you would like to say to the people who may all be headed to the polls, haven't voted yet? Well, for sure, being an informed voter, and uh, I'm running because I want to continue the success that we've had with progress and accomplishments of the first term in four years. We're going to build on those foundations that we've already started and continue to build Alabama. We've got the best business climate in, the sta in all 50 states. We've got uh, unemployment at an all-time record low, and it's been that way for quite some time, and that's a good thing. Our people are working again, and we made strong investments in our roads and bridges so we can have safe and dependable roads and bridges and widen the port, Mobile. And so we are doing some major things, and I'm, my emphasis going forward is going to be a deep dive into education so that we can be sure that our students have a quality education and can succeed in whatever they choose to do. Governor, other, other than your own race, is anything in particular you're watching for tonight, either in Alabama or nationally? It'd be nice if the Republicans could take back the Congress. I'd be watching those swing states. It's probably going to make a difference. And I'm all for Katie Britt. I think she'll serve Alabama well and help make Alabama and the nation ener energy independent again. Governor, what do you think the biggest challenge is if re-elected that you hope to tackle? <clears throat> the biggest one by far is gonna be education and a deep dive into that from our earliest learners all the way to students in K through 12 and in post-secondary institutions. And we'll continue with our success in workforce development and training our people to have good skills and job opportunities.